How to Create a VHS Effect in Premiere Pro Hi, today we are going to figure out how to create such a tailored retro recording effect. Let's use the Easy Edit Viewer plugin to search for videos. The Assets tab contains a large collection of GIFs, images, and videos from popular resources. Let's use the search and find some beautiful video. Excellent! We press the import button and our video is already on the timeline, and we can create the effect. First, we will arrange our video into three layers. and add a color balance RGB effect to them. Go to the top layer and select screen in the opacity settings. There are three colors in the effect settings. Red, green, blue. For each of them, we made one layer on the timeline. The top layer will be red. We set the rest to zero. In the next layer, leave the maximum values for the green color. We set the rest to zero. Blend mode. Screen. And in the bottom layer, leave the color blue. Turn off the rest. Now, after playing the video, we see no changes. Selecting the first layer, but starting to move the image, we see color distortions. This effect can be achieved by increasing the scale slightly. On the next layer, we will slightly blue the image to the side. Let's do the same on the bottom layer. Now we see how the three primary colors appear along the contours of the objects. This is one of the main points of color reproduction in old cassettes. Let's move on to the next effects. In the project window, create an adjustment layer. And we overlay it over our videos. Go to the Effects tab, and we find the Noise effect. This effect creates distortion in the form of noise. We set the desired value at our discretion. Go back to the effects tab and find Wave Warp. Select Wave Type Square. Direction 180 degrees. In this line we set the width of the stripe. As you know, on VHS recordings, it was wide and moved from top to bottom. You can remove these black areas here.
High speed can be corrected using these parameters. Wave height shifts the lines horizontally. Great, now you have achieved the desired result. Go to the color tab. And decrease the saturation values. Next, we recall the VHS style color rendition. And we set the values at our discretion. Select the Type tool. And we create inscriptions characteristic of our style. In this corner we will write the date. So it will be more believable. I downloaded this font on the internet. On request VHS fonts you will find many suitable fonts. We expose the text in the frame. And create the next one. To evenly expose such inscriptions, use the tool. Safe margins. Located exactly in the corners. If this tool is not here, click this button and find it in this menu. Place the text layer below the effect layers. And to remove the sharpness in the text. Add a Gaussian blur effect. and give it small values. For further work, such a number of tracks can be combined into one. Select everything and press the right mouse button. Nest. Now all our layers are packed into one. Press Enter. And Premiere Pro renders so that we can view this area without freezing. In the meantime, do not forget to subscribe to our channel so as not to miss new tutorials on working in Premiere Pro, After Effect and more. Super! Our VHS effect is good.